Hi everyone, Frederick here at Simple System Trading. I uh, got a question from a user. He wants to know if he could uh, use a pyramiding scheme to get into a position and then trail his stop on the way up. Right, this can be done on the way up, but also on the way down. I will show you how the SSTAT can be configured to uh, use the spread order function. Right, it's uh, an option in the AT to spread orders around on a certain uh, equal distance and then you can use the AT in its normal functionality to have a stop loss trailing uh, behind it so let's have a look at the AT I used a basic setup from the last video where uh, we pause trades after after they're they're made with the AT so that's the basic setup um, the AT uh, is then configured to to use a uh, one target as the size so one one size and a stop and then and, and a target uh, configured right that's the previous video what we're now going to add is uh, using the spread order entry normally it's set to no spread order entry but we can use this feature to uh, spread orders around a certain price or um, uh, use this to first have a market order and then have stop prices above for the move up for longs or below for uh, the move down you can also use different options that are stipulated here um, if you want to you know pyramid into a trade you know moving moving down to go long you could do that as well you can so uh, say i'm gonna first market in uh, place limits below price so if market dips more a pyramid in that way uh, it's a different setup than the one I got from the email but that's also a possibility in this case we're going to use first market rest stop um, we'll uh, use 10 ticks apart and we're going to spread uh, six orders use six orders in total so in this case there will be um, one market order and five stop orders uh, above for the long and below for the short right um, that's that's how it will look like if we're gonna push I configure the AT to um, react to a push of the button that can be any other trigger can also activate that that buy signal but if you buy here we'll have that one market order and five stop orders at equal distance to um, to follow so um, we have one one target here and one stop the target was set at 100 ticks and and the stop was set at 25 ticks so this is your your entry right uh, from the previous config when we use buy and sell buttons um, we enter with a spread order around it one target one stop we get this one target one stop because we used scaling in right if you don't use that so let's uh, cancel all this we don't use scaling in then i mean the spread uh, order function still works in the at but each uh, trade will be an individual uh, trade order with brackets attached so that stop and target will be there for each individual um, spread order so if you buy now you see that market order is in uh, the stop orders are in but you also have that um, stop orders and target orders attached to them and those are individuals right these are child orders they're they're not not open yet so once uh, that order gets filled the individual stop and targets are activated as well uh, that's not something that um, Andrew wanted so uh, we will need to use the um, scaling in uh, to make it work so we use scaling in and basically all the <clears throat> orders that are out there will have the same target and the same stop you just scale into your position and that target and stop will automatically be at the right quantity so that's the that's the entry so 
and pause it. We'll, we'll buy it again. That's your entry for spread orders around. And uh, right now we also want to um, use a trailing stop, right? Trailing stop that's described by this uh, by Andrew is a bit tight, so you can experiment with that. Um, but let's say, you know, we'll uh, have a look at the study description again, right here. I'm going to look at that um, uh, trailing option all the way down. Use trail stop, right? You have a selection box where you can use the uh, the type of uh, trail stop um, and all the options that are associated with it. Um, I'm just interested in uh, the offset here. Um, positive, and negative, positive, and we'll move stop further away. Okay, positive offset. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway. Um, when we want to do a trail stop here, um, you have to select the option. In this case, we're going to be trailing a known study price, right? And we have to select the trigger. So I'm going to use a fixed trigger movement. So in this case, probably want to have a bit of a room before we start triggering. And we need to set the top price for trailing at the average uh, price here. That's what we're going to use for the shorts and longs. And I'm going to use an offset. So I don't want to be trailing that price too tight. So I'm going to have a 10 tick offset in that uh, trail stop. So what happens in this case, if you OK this, I have added the standard trading position average price a study from share a chart here to this, um, this chart. Um, I've uh, changed the region to the main price region and I hide the study. So you don't really see it here, but it's there. You can use it as a reference. In this case, it's the trail stop price reference uh, I use to follow the study subgraph because I select that. So in this case, we'll, we'll enter, we'll have a stop. After 25 ticks, the trigger is pushed and the trail stop will start. We will look for that average price at an offset of 10 ticks and it will trail that average price at 10 ticks every time it changes. So that's the setup here, right? So let's have a little replay, see if we can, can have that work. So we'll chart replay at slow speed. I'm gonna unpause here. We're still scaling in, so it's good. Um, hang on. Uh, get the buy in here. So speed this up. Left that market order, the feel wasn't great, but that happens. Uh, we get that move on, second one is in. We need to have a move of uh, 25 ticks for that trail to trigger. So average price has changed a little bit. And then we'll move that stop automatically to 10 ticks below that average price. So let's see. Should be almost there. There we go. You have the trail active now. So if that second one is, or that last order is also in, you will see another shift of the trail stop below the average price. Here we go. So right now the average price will not change anymore. So your trailing stop will stay where it is. So either you hit the target or you hit the stop. That's basically 
how it works. You could add a different uh, way to stop to use trailing after initial uh, trail as well, but that's a more advanced uh, subject in one of the other videos. Uh, you can now manually change it as well if you want. Um, that's okay. And, and manage the trade like that. But this is just an example on how the AT could work in this uh, pyramiding entry and managing a trailing stop. And you can obviously change the numbers and run it the way you want to. All right, uh, that's it. Wrapping it up. Uh, hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.